In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 11, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Mississippi State vs. Tennessee The Mississippi State Bulldogs play the Tennessee Volunteers on Friday at the Amelia Arena in Tampa. Florida in the quarterfinals of the Southeastern Tournament. Tennessee will be well-rested as the Volunteers have not played since a regular season-ending victory over Arkansas last Saturday. While Mississippi State will be playing its second game in as many days, the favorite in this matchup has covered the spread in four out of the last five. Tennessee's defense will dictate this matchup as the Volunteers are allowing an average of only 63 points per game and 40% shooting. In the only meeting of the regular season between the two, Tennessee defeated Mississippi State 72-63 and covered the spread as one-point favorites on the road. Mississippi State has failed to cover the spread in five of its last six and the Bulldogs don't play well as an underdog. Failing to cover the spread in each of the last 11 in that situation, Tennessee comes into this game playing great basketball, defeating Arkansas and Auburn in two of their last three games. Tennessee is the more talented team and has been red hot, so Tennessee to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Mississippi State has seen the overhit in 16 of their 32 games on the season. The Bulldogs are 62nd in offensive efficiency, 17th in offensive rebounding percentage, and 195th in effective field goal percentage on the year. Mississippi State is just 256th in tempo at 66 possessions a night. Tennessee comes in 42nd in offensive efficiency and is sparkling third in defensive efficiency this season according to Ken Palm. The Volunteers are 46th in effective field goal percentage percentage defense, 14th in turnover percentage, 18th in block percentage, and 7th in steal percentage on the year. Tennessee is 141st in tempo with 67 possessions per contest. We saw 109 and 135 points in the first two meetings this season. The Volunteers do a solid job on the defensive end and they don't have to generate a ton offensively. The total has finished under in 8 of Mississippi State's last 11 as well as in 5 of the last 7 that the Bulldogs have played as an underdog. The total has finished under in 4 of the last 5 games that Tennessee has played on a neutral court. Tennessee is allowing an average of only 63 points per game and Mississippi State holds its own on the defensive end as well allowing an average of just 66 points per game. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Creighton vs. Providence This Friday, the Creighton Blue Jays and the Providence Friars will meet in the semifinal round of the Big East Tournament. This game will take place in New York inside Madison Square Garden. These two teams faced off just two weeks ago. The Friars were able to walk away from this game with a 72-51 win. The Friars are 11-3 against the spread in their last 14 games following an against-the-spread loss and are 22-6 against the spread in their last 28 games versus a team with a winning percentage above .600. Although the Blue Jays are 11-5 against the spread in their last 16 games versus a team with a winning straight-up record, let's keep the history going on Friday night. The Friars are having a historic season so far this year, and why not continue it with another impressive win against Creighton? In the last three games in this series, the Friars have won two of them with covering in all three of them. They are averaging 70 points per game in the last three goes while allowing just 62 points to the Blue Jays. Just a couple of weeks ago, the Friars blew out the Blue Jays by 21 points and I don't see why the Friars cannot do it again here. The Friars simply have Creighton outmatched, so Providence to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Both teams can lock it down defensively. Let's start with the Blue Jays. They are allowing 66 points per game this season, good for 106th in the nation compared to the Friars' 66 points right below them for 104th in the nation. In terms of allowed field goals, the Blue Jays are one of the best in the nation, allowing 40% from the court 
ranked 28th in the nation compared to the 40% of the Friars. According to Ken Palm, the Friars have the 60th most efficient defense in the nation. They were able to completely dominate this Creighton team just a few weeks back. Not much has changed since then, and the Friars will be able to hold the Blue Jays. I also noticed that the Blue Jays had the 196th lowest adjusted tempo rating and the Friars had the 258th. According to Ken Palm, neither team will push the ball up the court and the pace of the game will stay slow. This will limit the number of opportunities that each team gets to score points. The defenses will be the story of this game and the Friars will be able to smother Creighton as soon as they step across half court. This Providence Friars team isn't getting the respect that these deserve and they will be ready to show that on both ends of the court in this game. The Providence Friars will be able to limit the Creighton Blue Jays when they are on the offensive end of the court. Because of this, these two teams will not be able to combine to push this total over. Expect a defensive battle here especially with the total going under in four of Creighton's last five games against an opponent in the Big East Conference. So under the projected total is our full game total pick. Michigan State vs. Wisconsin The seventh-seeded Michigan State Spartans take on the second-seeded Wisconsin Badgers in the quarterfinals of the Big Ten tournament on Friday. The Spartans survived a late scare and held on for a 76-72 win over Maryland to reach the quarterfinals. The Badgers earned the double bye in the tournament to its second-place finish in the Big Ten regular season standings. The two teams split the season series this year, with each team winning on the other team's home floor. Michigan State is 3-1-1 against the spread in their last five neutral site games and 1-4 against the spread in their last five games following a win. The over is 4-0 in Michigan State's last four games. Wisconsin is 4-1-1 against the spread in their last six neutral site games and 4-1-1 against the spread in their last six Friday games. The over is 5-2 in Wisconsin's last seven games. The underdog is 4-0 against the spread in these two teams' last four head-to-head -head meetings. The Badgers have won five of their last six games and six of their last seven games away from home. They play well offensively, scoring more than 70 points per game while making 43% of their shots. They are aggressive on the offensive glass, which will lead to more scoring opportunities. They are also very careful with the ball, turning it over less than nine times per game, and won't give the Spartans a lot of easy scoring opportunities. The Spartans lost five of their last eight games and they struggled defensively during the stretch, giving up at least 72 points in six of their last seven games and will have a hard time slowing down the Badgers. The Spartans have also played well offensively, but they didn't play well as well in recent games, especially at the free throw line, with the team making less than 67 points per game in their last three games. They are also very careless with the ball, turning it over more than 13 times per game. They are facing a Wisconsin team that has played well defensively, giving up less than 70 points per game and will struggle offensively in this game. So Wisconsin to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. These two teams split the season series with Wisconsin winning 70-62 and Michigan State winning 86-74. The health of Johnny Davis will be a critical part to this game, as Wisconsin is a completely different team without him. Michigan State ran out to a big lead against Maryland in the second round of the tournament and almost allowed a huge comeback. Michigan State struggled on defense in their last few games, so over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.